the Gotthard Road Tunnel, Switzerland. One of the most important crossing points in the Alps. The Gotthard Mountain Pass is the shortest connection between North and South Europe, a vital trade route since the Middle Ages. But nowadays the Gotthard can mean lengthy traffic queues for Europeans, particularly during the summer season. And even when the traffic flows, it can be unpleasant. In 2001, 11 people died when two lorries crashed, creating a large fire in the tunnel. The Swiss government wants to improve the experience and on February the 28th, the Swiss people will vote in a referendum on a second road tunnel so that the original Gotthard road tunnel can be renovated. The government says the new tunnel is needed for safety reasons and even with the extra tunnel capacity will be limited at existing levels. Nevertheless, a yes vote on February the 28th is far from guaranteed. Opposition to a new road tunnel is strong from environmentalists such as Manuel Hermann from the Alpine Initiative, who wants to protect the distinctive character of the Alps, and who argues that the Swiss have agreed the priority is to shift traffic from road to rail. You imagine if one million lorries, they travel through an Alpine valley with all that noise, that pollution, that just concentrates on the places where the people live, what effect that has on these valleys. You build a second road tunnel which will increase the capacity to four lanes. Uh, we have, well, all the freight traffic from northern to southern Europe passes through Switzerland or a big part of it and pressure to use that corridor, that road freight corridor will be immense, will be very big. Mountain trading routes have defined Switzerland since the Middle Ages. And in 1856, Credit Suisse, which is now one of the country's biggest banks, was founded to finance the original rail tunnel through the Gotthard Mountain. The new road tunnel's not the only improvement planned for the Gotthard infrastructure. Here at the base of the mountain in June, Switzerland plans to open a new 57 kilometer long rail tunnel, the longest in the world, which has cost at least 10 billion Swiss francs to build. As well as cutting the journey times through the mountain, it will also bind Switzerland even more closely into the European Union, of which it's not actually a member. The step forward in European infrastructure and economic integration is significant because Switzerland is currently having to renegotiate its relationship with the EU. The government in Bern has to implement a referendum decision from 2014 which committed Switzerland to imposing curbs on immigration from EU countries. That has conflicted with the EU's cherished principle of the free movement of people as well as of goods carried by trains. Some Swiss politicians think the strategic importance of the Gotthard tunnels gives Bern leverage in its negotiations with the EU. They include Christoph Blocher, leader of the Swiss People's Party. He strongly opposed EU membership and his party won the most votes in last October's parliamentary elections. Europe said to Switzerland, we stopped all the, the contracts with you. We say, good, do that. But that is the, the traffic, the traffic contract, and you have not the Gotthard. You cannot pass Switzerland. During the Second World War, Switzerland threatened to blow up the Gotthard tunnels if Germany invaded. But these days it's hard to imagine a country could make anything like that sort of threat, if only because it relies on traffic from the EU to finance all the money it's spent on building such infrastructure. Euroscepticism is rising in Switzerland, as it is in the UK. But the UK is an island divided by a sea from continental Europe. The Gotthard tunnels show Switzerland is inescapably at the heart of Europe. Ralph Atkins, Financial Times, The Gotthard.